हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई डॉक्टर स्वाति पंड्या वेलकम्स यू ऑल इन दिस सेशन वी आर डीलिंग विद चैप्टर सेवन दैट इज स्ट्रक्चरल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन एनिमल्स एंड वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग विद द डिस्क्रिप्शन अबाउट कॉकरोच द साइंटिफिक नेम इज पेरी प्लानेटा अमेरिकाना टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद नर्वस सिस्टम ऑफ कॉकरोच सो नर्वस सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ सीरीज ऑफ फ्यूज segmentally arranged ganglia so ganglia are present in each segment and they are joined by paired longitudinal connectives on ventral side actually three ganglia they lie in the thorax we all know the three segments are present in thorax so each segment bears the ganglia so three ganglia are present in the thorax and six in abdomen this you have to remember there are 10 abdominal segments but only 6 ganglia uh, in six segments the ganglia they are present the nervous system of cockroach is spread throughout the body and the head holds a bit of nervous system while the rest is situated along the ventral part of its body so now you will understand that if the head of the cockroach is cut off many times you must have heard about it it will still live for as long as one week till the head is removed but still it can live for one week in the head region the brain is representing the supra esophageal ganglion which supply nerve to antenna and compound eyes which are located in head region then in cockroach the sense organs they are also very well developed as we have seen in earthworm only certain receptors are present on skin or on anterior part but here in cockroach the sense organs are very well developed like the antennas they are found they are sensory in function then the compound eyes are well developed then even maxillary palps labial palps they are the they are situated in the mouth part we have discussed about it earlier so the, these are Uh, sensory in function even in last segment anal cerci it is acting as a sensory organ if we describe the compound eyes they are actually situ situated at the dorsal side or dorsal surface of the head we have seen that and each eye consist of about 2000 ometidia ometidia are the structures which are very small units and these are hexagonal structure and uh, singular form is known as ometidium so with the help of many ometidia a cockroach can receive several images of an object so that is why it have a mosaic type of vision not clear but a mosaic vision it can ex experience and with more sensitivity but less resolution so this is not an advanced feature but starting of sense organs it has developed and being common during night hence it is it has a nocturnal vision we can say like that also nocturnal as i have said to you earlier they are active during night now let me explain you about the nervous system of cockroach though this diagram is not given in our textbook but just to understand the location of all these ganglia i am showing you this diagram it is not important to draw or even important to learn but just to remember all these concepts see the diagram here the thoracic ganglia they are given they are three in number in each segment but abdominal region only six abdominal ganglia they are found and ventral nerve cord is found so in total if we see the nervous system of cockroach it consists of ganglia then we can say the supra esophageal ganglion though it is not shown here but just near the esophagus the supra esophageal ganglion is present then the nerve cord which is ventrally located nerve cord is present so in this way so this brain which is given that is actually the uh, it is made up of the supra esophageal ganglion so in this way this is all about the nervous system regarding cockroach 
okay now let us discuss about the reproductive parts or reproductive system if we see the cockroaches earlier also i have told you they can be distinguished they can be identified uh, separately that means male cockroach and female cockroach can be identified externally also without observing their internal organs so this is known as sexual dimorphism and the difference between male and female cockroach is the presence of anal style only found in male cockroach and these structures they are absent in female so in this way we can distinguish them now let us discuss about the male reproductive system actually it consists of a pair of testes which lie one on each lateral side in fourth fifth and sixth abdominal segment you have to learn this the location is perfectly given from each testes arises a thin vas deferens which opens into ejaculatory duct and it occurs through seminal vesicle here the seminal vesicle is accessory gland like structure which assists the process of reproduction then these ejaculatory ducts they open into male gonopore which is situated in ventral to anus okay just near to the anus that means that uh, uh, that means 10th segment of abdomen then a characteristic mushroom shaped gland is present in 6th and 7th abdominal segment and whose function is just to aid the process of reproduction that means to assist the function of reproduction even the external genitalia are present by male gonopophyses which is also known as phallomer and here uh, a more description is given about it that is the chitinous asymmetrical structure which is surrounding the male gonopore it is known as male gonopophysis okay now the sperms which are stored in seminal vesicle are glued together so after gluing the bundles are produced and these are known as spermatophores and these spermatophores which are glued through the secretions of seminal vesicles that means sperm along with the glued material secreted by seminal vesicle it is commonly known as spermatophore and now this is discharged during copulation just it is spermatophore is comparable to semen found in the humans so even comparative study also you are supposed to learn now this diagram will show the male reproductive organs regarding male cockroach and this diagram you are supposed to draw also this diagram is important to draw in class work and here segment wise distribution or the indication regarding these organs you are supposed to write now let us start the description regarding the male reproductive system in cockroach with the help of this diagram so here are these three lobes which are situated in the different segments that is starting from fourth fifth and sixth segment so these are testes then even the glands they are shown like phallic gland this is mushroom gland then even the small tubules long tubules they are shown so these are the parts of mushroom gland then even seminal vesicle is present that is also additionally uh, uh, involved in the secretion that means the spermatophores they are formed due to the glue which is secreted by it then if we see the testes the testes are then followed by vasa deferens so this is vasa deferens it is a tubular part then forms ejaculatory duct so this ejaculatory duct it opens through the seminal vesicle and even these glands which are situated in 6th and 7th segment abdominal segments they are also assisting the process of reproduction they are involving they are secreting certain secretions then after ejaculatory duct the male gonopore is situated just near the anus so here the external genitalia are present which are represented by this 
male gonapophyses the another name of it is phalomer so in this way all these structures they are represented in this diagram and this diagram is important to draw now students let's see about the female reproductive system which is present in female cockroach so here as i have said to you earlier the anal style they are absent which can be seen externally in morphological structure in male cockroach then if we see the internal part the anatomy the female reproductive system it consists of two large ovaries and the ovaries they lie in lateral side starting from second third fourth fifth and sixth abdominal segments we will see in the diagram each ovary is formed of group of eight ovarian tubules so small tubules are present inside the ovary if we see the section so these tubules are known as ovarioles and these ovarioles they contain a chain of developing ova so ova are produced so premature then mature and mature and like this in a chain the ova they are found then ovary is followed by oviducts so oviducts of each ovary unite into a single median oviduct which is also known as vagina so oviduct is followed by vagina and this vagina it opens into the genital chamber then the pair of spermatheca is present in the sixth segment which open into the genital chamber so in this way these structures they are found in the female reproductive part of cockroach let us see with the help of diagram let us understand okay here is the diagram which is showing the reproductive system of cockroach that is female so here this diagram is also important to draw and if we see the segment wise the ovary they are starting from second segment and they are extending up to sixth segment and here you can see these are the ovarioles that means these are the ovarian tubules in which the ova they are produced and they are produced in a chain a series of uh, ova they are arranged in these ovarioles almost 6 uh, to 8 ovarioles they are found then this is the oviduct portion and here from both the sides the oviducts they unite here at the common oviduct and this is also known as vagina then we can see here these are the glands collateral glands its description is not given but they are represented in the diagrammatic form then this is the genital pouch the genital chamber and even here the spermatheca a pair of spermatheca which are present in the sixth segment they are also shown so all these structures they are representing the female reproductive part in cockroach now let's discuss about the process of fertilization and development further actually the sperms they are transferred through spermatophores as we have discussed earlier these spermatophores are formed when these sperms they are glued by the secretion of seminal vesicle so these spermatophores they are released and their fertilized eggs are encased in capsules these capsules are known as oothika सो so, आपने देखा होगा कितनी बार जहाँ पे कॉकरोचेस वगैरह रहते हैं वहाँ ये छोटे छोटे कैप्सूल्स इस तरह से चिपका दिए जाते हैं किसी भी सरफेस पे सो एक्चुअली दीज आर नोन एज ऊथिका एंड दीज ऊथिका इज अ डार्क रेडिश टू ब्लैकिश ब्राउन कैप्सूल एंड अबाउट थ्री टू एट मिलीमीटर लॉन्ग बहुत ही छोटे छोटे कैप्सूल्स होते हैं आप कभी भी ऑब्जर्व करना एंड दे आर ड्रॉप्ड और ग्लूड टू अ सूटेबल सरफेस usually in cracks or crevices of high relative humidity near a food source jaise aapne dekha hoga bathrooms ke aas pass ya fir aise hotels wagera ke aas pass jahan pe food ki bhi availability hoti hai then humidity hoti hai water content uh, to is tarah se yahan pe uh, uthika ko uh, chipka diya jata hai capsule form mein hota hai on an average females produce 9 to 10 uthika 
and each contain 14 to 16 eggs okay so here the development of this periplaneta americana is uh, perometabolus that means there is a development through certain nymphal stage jisko hum larval stage se bhi samajh sakte hain but actually here nymphal stages they are form, found and the nymph which is the young cockroach we can say like that the young cockroach the nymph it looks very much similar to adult cockroach but the nymph grows by molting about 13 times alag alag 13 different forms hote hain aur molting through the molting bahut sare structures change hote rehte hain aur finally it reach up to the adult form jo hum cockroaches dekhte hain wo adult form ke hote hain but kabhi kabhi humko nymph wo bhi dikhte hain the next to last nymphal stage has wing pads but only in adult cockroach they have wings okay so this type of structure they can be seen now significance for human actually they have no significant role just we have seen in earthworm but uh, many species of cockroaches they are wild and even they are of no economic importance to human uh, few of the species they thrive in and around human habitat as we have seen many times near about society and they are actually pest because they destroy our food and even they contaminate it with their smelly excreta even they are responsible for spreading many bacterial diseases by contaminating food material okay so actually they are harmful to us they have no as such uh, significant role to human society okay students so here today we have learned about the nervous system of cockroach and we have discussed about the reproductive system in cockroach male reproductive system female reproductive system separately and even we have seen the sexual dimorphism in them so how to write separately i have shown here even the diagrams they are important to draw as i have said to you earlier also and a neat and labeled diagram should be there uh, many times in long answer type questions diagrams are compulsorily asked okay so complete your work within the time limits submit your homework in specific time and do revise all the previous chapters also and soon in this month we will be having our biology unit test so definitely all these chapters which we have completed uh, from them only the syllabus will be included so please do revise it and uh, take care bye bye students